Hey everybody, I'm Lauren Zima. And I'm Deidre Behar. And we are counting down the hottest couples of the year. Now, it was a very difficult decision narrowing down who was going to make it on our list, but we have succeeded. So we are going to name the top five cutest, hottest, most amazing couples of 2016. But we know you guys might disagree with us and have some opinions too. Hmm. So leave your top couples in ET's Facebook page comments right now. We will get them on our phones and discuss. Maybe you're right and we're wrong. I don't know. We're about to name them. Maybe. <sighs> Let's kick it right off. In? This yes. is so fun. I love the love. We get to do love today. Yes. I feel yes. like it's all, you know, there's a lot of sadness in Hollywood and a lot of breakups. Today, we're just focusing on the positive. Yes, 2016 yes. was a rough year, but love is still real. Love is real. Now, one couple that proved that for us because they were a surprise union. Number five is Orlando Bloom and Katy Perry. Here for that. Here for it. You yeah, like this couple? Love this couple. Like you said, unexpected. Never did I think the 2016 Golden Globes would give me one of my favorite couples of the year. Chance encounter. Look at them laughing and smiling. That is the picture right there. And you guys, this blew our minds in the office. I remember when this happened because we see this picture of them. They're flirting in January at a Golden Globes after party. And we were like, is this real? Do they know each other? What's happening? Yeah. By February, they're vacation vacationing in Hawaii. They're in Hawaii. They're kissing. He's shirtless. They're holding hands. It was fabulous. And I was on board for this. I think that he is Katie's type. She goes for the brunettes. His hair's actually dyed blonde now, but she goes for that. They have the UNICEF thing in common. What do you think makes them work? I think it's that he's purely a good guy. I think mm -hmm. that he's exhibited he's a very loving and loyal father. Fun fact, I was once in a restaurant with Orlando Bloom and it was just <laughs> Deidre Behar, Orlando Bloom, and a hostess. And the way that I saw him treat her just kind of gave me an idea of his character. He was sweet, he was chivalrous, he was friendly, and I feel like he's maybe exhibited those qualities for Katie and she just wants mm -hmm. something simple. I thought John Mayer was maybe it for her. Mm. I wanted the Russell Brand situation to work out. I think it's maybe finally Katie's time. Well, they say that the way that you treat service people or help is very indicative of your character. Mm -hmm. And I think what's key about Orlando is what you said. I mean, he's always very sweet with our interviewers on red carpets. He's great yeah. with us. And he is mature because her type is these dark haired guys, these creative guys, but Russell Brand, maybe a little too immature. John Mayer, maybe a little too much of a playboy. Orlando had already, already middle been married, ground. had a child, and still very mm. sexy. Uh, side note, can I just yes. point out really quick oh, yes. the picture that Miranda Kerr took with Katy Perry. The fact that Orlando's ex can be with Orlando's mm -hmm. new girlfriend, I think it just speaks volumes of the level of maturity that we have here. Yes. And I appreciate that, especially for the sake of the child. And I also think that you can tell um, another reason that they are uh, one of our uh, favorite couples of the year is that you can tell they're getting serious. And I think you can tell that because they're kind of keeping things on the DL right now. Yeah. Like, you're not seeing a whole lot of them on each other's social media pages no. or out in paparazzi photos. I do know that she's extremely family oriented. She just went to Dave and Buster's with her family, <laughs> which is something I love doing. Um, I don't know. I hope, I'm hope i hoping for maybe a little holiday engagement if yeah. it's in the works. I, I would love to see that. Well, that's what I kind of want to get into is, so in January they met, well, we think they met in January. January, we see them flirting. February, they're on vacation in Hawaii. They keep it on the DL. They have still yet to walk a red carpet together, but they've been teasing us with these apparent, possible, maybe alleged engagement ring situations. Look at Orlando's Instagram. Guys, Katie's hand is evident, apparently. We think it's Katie's hand because we saw her wearing this ring in other pictures. Just on the side, there it is. That ring, she rocked it on that all-important finger, and it's a pretty sizable ring. So, I don't know. I would not be surprised if... If they do get engaged or are engaged, they seem very serious. Now, we also mentioned the UNICEF thing. So this is something they really have in common. Yeah. Um, they're both very charitable. They're both very active. You know, Katie uh, really campaigned for Hillary. They both have their different causes, and they're both involved with UNICEF. Now, they have not walked a red carpet together, but have been to UNICEF events together, and they both received the same honor, Katie this year, Orlando last. And we want to get into some cute stuff that they did tell us about each other just in recent months. Here's what Katie had to say about her man Orlando on the red carpet. And I, I think every relationship is, um, everyone's a teacher in a relationship. That's how I see it now. And we've taught each other a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I, I just think that that's so beautiful. And again, I feel like I keep saying maturity, but like I, I feel like I see her dancing <laughs> and singing with glitter and I think of her as like super youthful, but then I see her say something like that, so eloquent, so polished. Mm -hmm. They're both committed to being people of the world and what's more beautiful than them doing it together? I know that sounds cheesy, but they're together in Africa, you know, helping with these mm -hmm. children who really need them. And what, what bonds a couple more than that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't. I do, well, let's end on this little note from Orlando. Here's what he told E.T. about Katie. 
she's you know I'm super proud of the work that she does. She's 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 a voice that speaks to so many, and and it's remarkable to see her you know champion this cause. Just I, it's it's amazing that we happen to do this together. Look at I that love the smile. blonde. I love the blonde. <laughs> yeah, you can you can tell in his eyes and in mm. his smile that he's clearly very happy. Yeah. Uh, of course, you guys, your comments are already coming in and you're disagreeing. Uh, Carlos says the only real famous couple are Kanye and Kim, and Amanda says Zayn and Gigi. Zayn and Gigi, I must admit, are definitely uh, up there for us. Now they did not make our top five, and Kanye and Kim. Spoiler alert: they're not going to be in the top five here. We tried to focus on people who really had 2016 as their breakout couple year. Truly. All right. Speaking of. We're going to dive into next a couple that used to keep things on the DL but kind of opened up about their love a little this year. Yeah, and I'm not mad about it. No. I, you know, I think Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel. Number couple, four. Couple number four. <laughs> I think they're, they're both so mainstream, her as an actress, mm -hmm. him as an entertainer. you got to give me a little more. <laughs> and I think 2016 was the year that they did that. So first of all, Mother's Day. Oh, is there anything cuter than a guy calling his wife a MILF? I don't think so. Let's read Do this you? exact quote. Justin on Mother's Day said of Jessica, MILF alert. Can I get a little MILF alert on this? Happy Mother's Day to this amazing <laughs> mom and wife. Now that was just so sweet to me. And again, you know, it's playful, it's fun, it's cute. He posts that picture of her. And this year was really about them kind of coming out with their life. It was also kind of Justin's breakout year into social media. You know, yeah. he, he came on Instagram this he year. He warmed up to it a lot. Yeah, mm -hmm. and a lot of celebrities who are really A-list on that level don't really post about each other on social media, but Jessica and Justin diving right in. They are, and you know, it's not as frequent as I would like it to be. <laughs> she like, still wants more. <laughs> there's, I'm sorry, I'm thinking of another couple that's further down on the list that kind of gives me things daily. Uh, I do appreciate what they do share with the world, because mm -hmm. I know they are a very private couple. We very seldom see their son Silas's face. Mm -hmm. But, you know, let's talk about the birthday post. I thought oh. that that was super sweet. Justin's happy birthday message read, Happy Bay, bay Day, be baby. <laughs> I can't put into words what you mean to me. You are the greatest mommy and wife a man could ever ask for. I love you to the moon and back. Your huzz. I love you to the moon and back. Is there a better? I mean, greatest wife, greatest mom anyone could ever ask for. He's really gushing about her. And we just saw them get very public with their love at the Critics' Choice Awards on Sunday night. This was a date night for them. Loved it. They're out. They pose on the red carpet together. There they are. They're bo Look at the way he's looking at her. Both smiling so big, holding hands on the red carpet. We also saw some off-the-carpet shots of Justin kissing Jessica's hand. It was so sweet. Very PDA-appropriate for the event. I, I just, I, I'm sorry. I feel like we don't really very often get to see so much out of them as a couple. Mm -hmm. And, and it, look at that. It was the highlight of the night for me. I saw that picture come up on Getty. You know, we look at all the photos from award shows on in Getty Images yeah. where they all are. And I, I sent that out to our office email list serve immediately. Like, we have to write this up, you guys. The way that he's holding her hand and kissing it, it's just... It's so sweet. It's so sweet. And sometimes when couples are a little more quiet, you wonder, is something going on? Like, honestly, with Brad and Angie, we hadn't heard from them in a while. And, you know, we were very shocked by their split. But because we hadn't heard from them in a while, we were sort of thinking, is something going on? But Jessica and Justin, they weren't always open about it. But this year, they really came into their own. They did. And can we get an honorable mention for their Halloween costume? <laughs> they were so cute. They did a little family costume together, trolls, mm -hmm. honoring the movie he did this year. I Super hope that cute. 2017, we're going to see more. Okay. I, I want to see more of Silas. He's yes. so cute. Uh, guys, number Number three, man, this is a couple. Was this who you're talking about that just no. serves us with the love? Okay. This is not, but this couple too does oh. this quite often. This Blake Shelton and Gwen Stefani coming in at number three for us. This year, I mean, we know that they got together being on The Voice. They talked so much this year about overcoming the tragedy of their divorces together, about how they awakened love for each other. Interview after interview, they are so happy. And I have to say, I didn't see it coming. I didn't see it coming either. I didn't you know, see the seriousness coming. I mean, no. I, thought I thought it was maybe a, re maybe a rebound. Maybe a rebound, but they are very serious. Truly. Let's, can we put up the picture really quick of them making their, uh, their red carpet debut as a mm -hmm. couple holding hands at the Vanity Fair party. This was almost a year ago. Almost a year ago. Like you said, I think this was the moment where I realized this couple is in it to win it. Mm -hmm. Okay, they are hand in hand at one of the most serious, <laughs> lauded, you know, Oscar events of the year. And and they pulled out the big guns with their fashion. And you can see that Gwen is sort of having her influence on Blake. And mm -hmm. Blake is sort of having his country rocker influence on Gwen. <laughs> and they've really 
melded in the most beautiful way their lifestyles together. Mm -hmm. Well, we saw them perform together on The Voice. They were coaches together on The Voice. That's where the love all started. But since then, I mean, he's been on tour. She's been on tour. They have flown across the country to meet up with each other and to perform together. And just look at the way that she's looking at him, that look of love in their eye. They've written music that's been influenced by each other. I think this song was also another huge moment for them. I mean, standing on stage, gazing into each Mm -hmm. other's eyes, you could tell that the love is real. This is not just some little quick uh, fling type of rebound action. No, and I think, you know, they have both been very honest about the fact that their divorces bonded them. And actually, we were with Gwen at the Glamour Women of the Year Awards where she was named Woman of the Year. And listen to what she told us about Blake, what she calls him. And it was just an incredible year for me, and I'm so grateful. You connected through music, of course, with, with Blake. So, you know, how has that helped you as well this year? Um, Blake Shelton? Oh my God. Yeah, that fella. It's incredible to have um, a, a best friend like that guy. He's, he's an amazing person. A best friend. You know, that counts for something because <laughs> yes. that's what's really going to take your relationship the, the long haul. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not just like, oh, we think each other's hot or, oh, he just looks good on my arm or she looks good on his arm. They're truly, I think, dare I say, soulmates. Oh, my God. I very think, bold. I think it's really bold, <laughs> but I think it's really true, and I think it's very evident in their actions and in their behaviors, especially on social media. Can we talk for a second about The Ranch? Oh, The Ranch. Blake's Ranch in Oklahoma. I mean, Gwen Stefani from Rocker to the country chic. 100%. <laughs> He's a little bit country. She's a little bit rock and roll, and she lost the red lipstick. She lost her usual crazy get-ups, and she just went no makeup, Balls to the walls, hanging out in Oklahoma. I mean, look at these videos that she posted to Snapchat. Her kids hanging out with with her Blake. dancers. Her backup dancers are there. I mean, this it, is as far from Beverly Hills <laughs> as you're gonna get. Truly. I mean, right. It's but you know, remember she also posted on Snapchat. She took him back to her childhood home. It's like they're really getting invested in each other's lives and who they are. And what I like about Blake for Gwen is Gwen's fresh off a divorce, which I honestly think was with a guy with Gavin who she saw herself being with forever. I mean, we we know that, you know, Gavin allegedly cheated on Gwen. Um, I don't think that she was looking to end that marriage. So she, she saw wasn't. herself with Gavin. She was heartbroken. She said it was a tragedy. And she has found this guy who accepts her with her kids, with everything. Blake is mature enough for that. Mm-hmm. And she spends time with her kids. The kids came to the ranch, and she's meeting his family, too. 100%. I, I think it's been so beautiful to watch how loving Blake is. Mm-hmm. He's not a parent in real life. It's not like he can draw on his own personal experiences to be welcoming to Gwen's kids. But it seems like he really treats them as though they're his own. He took them to Disneyland earlier this year, riding on, I don't even know what you call that thing. I know. The, uh, along the swamp. I just think that it's beautiful. She said her life blew up in her face and here she is a year later just you know couldn't be happier so radiant oh my gosh and a lot of you guys are saying Blake and Gwen should have been higher on the list D says Gwen and Blake should have been our number one Uh, I mean well we know that they spent the holidays together that Blake uh, and his mom were with Gwen at Thanksgiving she I don't know if met but spent time with his family there so I think even more seriousness from them next year potentially so let me ask you a quick question do you forebode a holiday engagement for this couple that is such a question, right? I think Gwen's the marrying kind. I think so, too. Mm-hmm. And I think that he's the kind to do it. Okay. I think so. He's been married before. It, it would be a little fast, but Gwen is a, is a pretty traditional woman. I actually remember this interview when her and Gavin first got married. Somebody asked her a favorite wedding gift, and she said it was like a set of knives that they got. She's pretty traditional, so I see her as the marrying kind. We'll see what happens. All right. Uh, moving Next into one. number two. Do you want to announce it, my dear? Yes. We're moving into Blake Lively and <sighs> Ryan Reynolds. I can't even count the amount of times this year that they kind of defined couples or relationship goals. Mm-hmm. I think chief among their milestones this year would be the arrival of baby number two. Mm-hmm. We still don't even have the pleasure of knowing her name. She's just baby number two. But I think it's so adorable that they just constantly, despite being the most beautiful looking people on the planet, they just remind me of how human they are. Totally. And that they're just so not afraid to gush over one another. And I think one of the my favorite moments of the year was when Ryan was on Conan. The baby had just been born. Yeah, Ryan was just on Conan. The baby had just been born. And he accidentally let it slip that it was a girl. Blake had no idea that he would be giving such an omission. And the way he made it up to her was with her favorite cookies from her favorite bakery in New York City. And he handed them to her with an ice cold glass of milk. I know. So thoughtful. So really sweet. Cute. Mm-hmm. Yes. And it is, I mean, he just said in an interview um, earlier this week that he had to thank 
he's had so much success this year. He's been named Entertainer of the Year at the Critics' Choice Awards, Man of the Year by GQ. Deadpool was huge. He'd been trying to get that movie made for years. And he just said this week that he really has to give her credit mm -hmm. because she, he said, was the invisible helper Silent with partner. that character. Yeah. Yes, that she helped him develop the character. It was so cute. Um, even on Father's Day, you know, she the what she said, I'm going to read her Instagram, was... Ryan as a father equals mic drop. Happy day to the best one out there. Just simple and sweet. This is him at the Man of the Year Awards um, on Thursday. I actually spoke to him there, and uh, he had the sweetest thing to say about Blake. Um, you know what, though? I want to get in first to the birthday celebration. Yeah. I mean, she throws him the surprise birthday party. We have a picture of it. Uh, do you want to read what she... It was so, so cute what he wrote after she threw this for him. Best birthday ever, courtesy of my wife, buddy, and international spy, Blake Lively, <laughs> with huge thanks to my favorite restaurant in New York City and a special shout-out to our children for not ruining everything like they planned. You know, he even also this year told the story of how they initially met and how they bonded, mm -hmm. and they apparently just the two of them shut down this restaurant, and it was just the two of them getting to know each other. Their spark was just undeniable the chemistry mm -hmm. was palpable and I, I just I'm sorry I have not enough nice things to say about this couple I, I think they're amazing together. for me a re big part of the reason we put them on the list this year was Ryan had such a huge year again with Deadpool Blake with the shallows that was a really big solo project for her and they really showed their humorous sides this year like I love seeing how funny and sweet they are with each other he keeps like laughing about the kids you know saying uh, that as they're bothersome or, right yeah. but in this really sweet adorable way um here's actually what he said uh, at that man of the year event uh, on Thursday I mean, it's like a an actual cohesive, working, functioning family. It's amazing to see my, my, my older daughter take care of the younger one. It's sort of, yeah, you know, it's, uh, uh, the Lion King was right. The circle of life did exist. Uh, very, yeah. last, very last question. I admire your lovely wife because she's posting on Instagram about how she's working out and eating right to get back in shape. Sure. Well, look, if you don't mind, just straight on here. Sorry. Uh, I, I don't know of, of what you're speaking of. Getting back in shape, she looks fantastic. So, um... Yeah, I, 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 don't I love that. He knows she. He knows she's a perfect ten. That's yes. basically what he's saying there. Yeah. Yes, and he called the family the circle of life. So cute. Amazing. Um, your comments love coming in from Blake and Ryan from Sheree. Brittany says Blake and Ryan are number one for me. Letitia says I love those two together, and Marie says they are perfect. Now Natalie just said John Legend and Chrissy Teigen equal perfection. Natalie, funny you say that, Natalie. They are our number one. <laughs> yes. Uh, I, could you think of a couple that deserves it more? I love them so much. <laughs> they are literally the couple that I was thinking of. They give me something to gush over daily not just weekly I literally feel like at any given moment I can go on snapchat or Instagram and I can just smile so effortlessly over something adorable that either they've done or their daughter Luna has done they just had the best 2016 right another couple that welcomed a child this year Luna was born this year and they were very open and honest about the fact that they had been trying to have a baby look at her she's waving hi to John in that Instagram from Chrissy so cute um, they tried for years to have her and in April they welcomed little Luna and they are just both so in love with her. Uh, this year they celebrated 10 years since they met. Mm -hmm. um, Chrissy posted this Snapchat. Here's a cute little Snapchat from them. 10 years ago I met the best man on this planet. I love you. Happy anniversary. So cute. So cute. Denny, uh, Denny and Natalie both coming in with number one couple. We agree. I mean, honestly. Natalie, I, you called it. You did call it. I think what matters the most to me is how John is not afraid to go to bat for Chrissy. Mm -hmm. She is a woman who is very outspoken. She's got a lot of opinions. I think after she was mommy shamed for going out maybe a week or two after Luna was born, she looked super hot. They went to a hot spot in L.A. for dinner. Only Chrissy was mommy shamed. Mm -hmm. Nobody faulted John for going out. Mm -hmm. Only Chrissy. And he hopped on Twitter. This is what he said. He said, funny there's no dad shaming. When both of us go out to dinner, shame both of us so Chrissy doesn't have to take it all. We'll split it. I'm, what a point. I mean, preach. I preach to John Legend. You know, he, he's one of those guys who is just, you know, I hate to say, I, I literally hear some women call uh dad's babysitters like well he's babysitting no you're a father you're a dad be mm -hmm. present and John Legend we have interviewed him many times this year and he has just gushed about how Luna has changed his life about how he so wanted a baby but it's even more heart filling than what he thought it's inspired um, his new music so he has so much love coming in for yeah. them you guys Brittany says I love Chrissy and John Donna loves them so much love for them and mm -hmm. like you said they were out on a date night that night I love that they still prioritize their relationship you have to yes if you don't you'll very quickly fall into the trap of being mom and dad you have to remember, you were husband and wife first. Yeah, and they, like I said, celebrated 10 years since they met. We saw that on Snapchat. And like you said, we get kind of that daily just, they're very open about their relationship. Yeah. And Chrissy actually told us that that's really important.
important to her. We talked to her on a red carpet earlier this year, and here's what she said about the fans and sharing their relationship. They've grown up, uh, they've been watching John and I in love for 10 years now, and for us it's like, it's, it's really normal and natural to be able to share our lives with them, so I feel like, like they're a part of it, I feel like they're family. You guys, we are her family. She said it. We are, I was just going to say, talk about one of the most generous and selfless mm -hmm. celebrities. A lot of people, like we mentioned before, Justin Timberlake, you know, he's very guarded with what he puts up on social media. Chrissy is the antithesis <laughs> of that. She wants to feed us more mm -hmm. of John, whether it's him making mac and cheese or them giving Luna a bath. I mean, there is nothing we really haven't seen. I thought the most adorable thing maybe this year was when they went back to the All of Me house in Italy. Recreated the video. They recreated that iconic oh, music video. Which so cute. Which we have right here. Them, of course, poking fun at how dramatic the video was. Yeah, she said it was three years later. Yes, and then the kind of cir quote circle of life moment, <laughs> they recreated another music video together. She stars in his new music video mm -hmm. uh, with little Luna. Yes, so they're both So it's just so it. beautiful to see their <sighs> growing family together, you know, one symbolizing their marriage, one symbolizing their family. And like you said, the, her and Luna inspired his new music. They're mm -hmm. right there in the video. You know, he's, I mean, you can always act in a music video. He, he could be in a music video with a model, but he no. uses his own wife, his own model. Um, His happy birthday message to her was so sweet just listen to these words happy birthday to my queen you are beautiful bright funny passionate and so inspiring your presence makes my life and our world so much better She's not just good for John, she's good for the whole world. She's the queen. She really is, oh. for so many reasons. And and thank you. Can we have a, a little oh, applause a little for round Chrissy of applause for, for giving Chrissy. us so much to latch on to Our this year. number one couple of the year. And you guys, so Elizabeth mm -hmm. says, it's nice to see couples fall in love and have families. Every happy moment, even for the famous, is nice to see. Love all the top five. Thank you, Elizabeth. Yep. Carrie says they're precious. Love them. Um, couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more. And like I said, we've interviewed John and Chrissy several times this year, and they're always so open to talking about it. I think we're going to end. We'll wrap up after this. But let's end on this story of John telling us how he first fell in love with Chrissy. Um, we were texting a lot, and yeah. I started to see her sense of humor and her, uh, we would talk on the phone, and I just started to fall in love with how engaging and witty and, and, and uh, funny she is. And I think that's when I really started to know that this was the kind of person I wanted to be around a lot. Yeah. And... Uh, once we started spending more time together between tour stops and all this other stuff, we realized we had such a connection, and then it blossomed into a marriage and a baby. <laughs> He uh, fell for her wit. He fell for her funniness. Well, I mean, I fell for her over Twitter, so I can only imagine how funny her personal text messages were to him. I, I just love that, though. Yeah. You know, that's what he says first is her wit, her, her brain. humor. This is someone I wanted to be around. So for so many reasons, they are our number one couple of 2016. Yes, John yes, and Chrissy. Again, yes. Maybe a baby next year. We'll keep Ooh. our fingers crossed. A little uh, playmate for Luna. Luna could not be more beautiful, so no. as many babies as, as they can make. Keep I mean, churning the them out. Churning them out. <laughs> Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching with us. Uh, again, we know this list was hard to make. I mean, some of you were saying Miley and Liam, Gigi and Zane. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, love is still alive in 2016. Yeah, it is. There's a <laughs> lot of couples that keep us hanging on. So, so we want to hear your thoughts as always. You can tweet either of us and let us know what you thought of the list. I'm at Lauren Zima. I'm at her name is Deidre. And please keep liking ET on Facebook because we are doing Facebook Lives all month long, wrapping up 2016, counting down the year's biggest and best stories, scandals, and more. Thank you so much for watching. Keep the love alive. <laughs>